Okay. Our next speaker is um, Dr. Gregory K. W. K. Chung, and he is the Assistant Director of Research Innovation here at Crest, which is why we slotted him in the innovation, innovations in technology session. So, and his motto is from marksmanship, from marksmanship to math. <laughs> but not today. <laughs> All right, okay, so uh, today I'm talking about the, the unsexy topic of telemetry. And uh, you'll, well, so I'll, um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll start with some more stories, basically what not to do, and it's really based on lots of uh, experiences that we've had in, in our uh, interactions with uh, uh, developers and, and, and ourselves as well, um, and then end up with some guidelines that we've developed uh, over the years. Um, so as we all know, everyone's game, 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 simulation, technology, great. Um, Want to use it for data, you know, can we infer uh, something about the students, right? That's, and basically, so, and, and what I'm gonna say is really, that's great, but in the end, or in the beginning, you need to think about the actual data that's coming out of the system, the, the telemetry. So, I mean, this is the basic problem, right? Gameplay, inference, the big question mark in the middle. Okay, so um, I'm gonna, uh, so this is, uh, so what I'm talking about, here's the whole, the processing pipeline. Uh, in, in other words, uh, you, have, you have data from the game and then you know, there's an extraction process from the database or some text file then you gotta clean it, then you transform it, and then you get to the analysis, and then you get to some results. So what I'm focusing on is in that first box. Uh, and then really trying to make the point that uh, your game design needs to be synchronized with your assessment design. So I wanna teach X, Y, and Z, then you should measure X, Y, and Z, and your data should be formatted so you can come up with measures of X, Y, and Z. Okay, so let me just, uh, <clears throat> we'll see how this goes today. So here's the typical <laughs> design process. Let's build a game. Everyone's all excited, yeah. <laughs> and then you ask the question, well, what should I measure? Dope. Right, so at this point, you got a game, a lot of self-investment, and you know, uh, and then uh, the obvious question is, or answer is, well, I should measure uh, what the game is supposed to teach, but because you know maybe the design process is, isn't there, then you kind of resort to, well, what does the game do well? Right, well, let's measure that because we think it's effective. And then at some point, you, need, you just need to blame the programmers. <laughs> right, I mean, right, you guys get it, right? <laughs> and then in the end, hey, kids love the game. <laughs> so, okay, so we wanna avoid that story. Uh, and uh, so let's, um, so I'm just gonna like run through uh, what I call common misfires. So let's build a game, right? Go collect data, and let's look at that data, and then it's like, huh? What data, <laughs> right? I mean, that's like the first uh, problem that happens when you don't have a coordinated process. All right, all right. So, so then the researcher types, you know, talk to the programmers. Hey, can you put in some logging? Yeah, no problem, all right? <laughs> And then you get the data, and it's human readable. It's great, you know. Me as a researcher can read the thing. So it's unstructured text, it's very verbose. But I don't know if you've ever tried to analyze 
uh, text data. I mean, for data analysis, not not real good. All right, okay. So, hey, can you log X, Y, and Z? These three things. Yeah, no problem. And then, then you get to the point where, all right, the program is emitting uh, data and all that, and and. Uh, and if it's not structured, you got to write another program to interpret the data so that you get the data you can put into SPSS. All right, I mean, that's... And then, so then, and then you get the format. Okay, can you log X, Y, and Z in this format? All right, great. No problem, programs do it all the time. And then you get the measures, and the, the measures suck. There's no relationship to anything, right? You, you get what Rich Brown, who, former colleagues called uh, you know, uh, the Irish O's, you know, it's like just zeros all over the place. <sighs> all right, so what's the point, right? So after a thousand iterations, if you get to the point where you can connect the thing you want in the game, the behaviors to, uh, and the game states, like what's the conditions under which data are uh, captured, and you make all of that such that it's connected to what's going on in people's heads, you know, to the extent possible in terms of the game mechanic, then you got something good, right? I mean, that, that's, that's the money shot because if you can connect the data to the mechanics, to the instructional and assessment design, then you're gonna get something good by design in and of itself. All right, so, uh, so we'll cycle back to telemetry. So what is telemetry? So, so my frame of reference, I used to be an engineer. I used to, I was almost a rocket scientist. I, I worked on satellites. And, <laughs> and satellites have telemetry, right? I mean, it's just what you do. It's just part of the process. And so when I think about telemetry, I think about uh, my days of writing software so that I can grab uh, information from the satellite. And the only difference with today is that I'm grabbing information from kids. But so telemetry is um, information about the state of the system. So, uh, so let me just, so here's my definition in terms of games. So systematic specification capture logging of events that occur in a game uh, and uh, that's, that's saved somewhere. Uh, okay, and then all right, and so the format of the telemetry, um, it's you know, typically event data. You've got a timestamp, you've got something that indicates the action or the behavior, and you have something about the state, so the, con the, the environment uh, where the, that event occurred. All right, and so, so we've used this, I don't know, since the 90s um, as a way to just capture data from uh, website stuff, from game stuff, from like hypercard stuff. Uh, and I don't know, it seems to work well. And so, just some guidelines. Um, so the first one is, and, and this is the most important one, if, if, you know, so track behaviors that reflect use of knowledge. In other words, if you've got this uh, system, a game or a simulation, you wanna capture the events that directly, as directly as possible, reflect use of, you know, knowledge of, in this case, fractions, or adding fractions. And you make it explicit so that you can capture it in the software. Um, number two, um, basically what this means is, it's the Goldilocks principle, right? You wanna capture just the right amount in terms of detail so that it's usable, uh, not too fine, it's like way, otherwise, uh, It'd be cumbersome to manipulate, but you don't want it too coarse because then it's like you, you won't be able to go back and um, uh, if you just capture summary information, then you're going to miss all the process stuff, the detailed things going on, and and there's no way to go recover that information. Uh, and errors tend to be real interesting and informative. So, okay, and the third one, and, and this is really for. Um, Budget operations like us researchers, where you know we've got to do everything, um, and so structure the data so that you can just ingest it in whatever analysis package you're using. You know, otherwise you're going to need that 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 programmer guy to like 
write that piece of software to like process that data so that you can import it. And so if you just do the design up front, you know, it's just gonna make your life easier. Oops. Uh, and then the last one really is, um, uh, at, what, at what level are you capturing the data or the information? Are you making an inference in the system and capturing the inference, or are you capturing the description, just the behavior itself? Um, so if you capture the, the, uh, the inference and you're wrong in your inference, you, you, know, this, you, you can't recover. Uh, if you capture descriptive data, then at least you can do multiple kinds of analyses um, yeah, and it's also good for uh, what I call forensics, figuring out what the player is doing, um, you know, going back to the log and the, the data and, and seeing what's happening. Uh, okay, so um, to conclude, uh, really uh, this space seems super wide open. Um, you know, th this whole analytics, data mining, uh, making use of fine-grained process data. Yeah. I mean, there's like, you get skilled in that, it seems like, man, you got plenty of opportunities. And with that, I wanna thank IES and DARPA. <laughs>